I'm Brendan, and this is Benji. I'm Benji. And Brutus is down here, and we are the Forester Boys. We want to share with you the answers to the three questions we get asked most about going to gay campgrounds. First question. Will I feel comfortable? Yes, you'll be comfortable. I'm not really a social person, and I always seem to make friends. There is everyone there, above 21 typically. Or under 21 using their fake ID. Nope, 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 nope. Take two. <laughs> First question, Bren. What kind of guys are there? Every single type of guy you can imagine. Every look, every type, every age. Everyone kind of hangs out as a group. I mean, sometimes, yeah, there's some cliques and people come and hang out with their friends. Everyone's there for a different reason. Some people are there for a weekend alone in the woods and some people are there to party. At Sugar Creek, I made friends and went over at their place for dinner. <laughs> right now we are at Grizzly Pines. I just went out for a walk last week. Some guy drove by on a golf cart and cat called me. And I'm like, he has a really cute butt though. <laughs> I ended up talking to them, went over to their place to play Cards Against Humanity. He's been doing this while I sit at home with my broken ankle, unable to easily go in and out of the RV. Brendan's made a lot of friends. The second question is, is it clothing optional? And the answer is yes. All the gay campgrounds, at least all the ones we've been to and that we found, are clothing optional. You do not have to take off your clothes. Most people will have some sort of clothes on at any given point, but also at some point, most people don't have clothes on. It also uh, varies by campground. Like Sugar Creek was clothing optional only at the pool, which we found out weeks into our stay. We're not like really clothing optional people, but it is nice to be able in the morning, if we need to dump the tank before taking a shower, you don't have to get dressed before stepping out of the RV. Third question we get asked most about gay camping is, is it just a party? Definitively no, but also yes. We are traveling around, we're working full time, we work late, we go to bed early because we have clients all over the country and we're not really there for the parties. We'll like show up at the beginning, say hi to people and then go to bed. There's other people who are here legitimately camping in tents. There are a lot of people who come for a camping adventure, but also really like the parties. And then there are people who come for the weekend to party. On Friday night, we stayed in and watched a movie. And then on Saturday night, I went up to the hot tub. We went to the karaoke event. We hung out around the campfire after, and then there were some after parties. There were after parties? There were after parties. You were asleep. I was way asleep. They were not clothing optional. Oh, clothing optional mandatory? No clothing allowed. Like and subscribe, we wanna do this full time. Those are the three questions we get asked most about gay campgrounds.